Joining us now in the studio in Jerusalem is former Knesset member Yehuda Glik. Shalom. Shalom, Yoni. It's so wonderful to be here in the office, the studio of INN, of Urut Sheva, here in Jerusalem. Thank you Isn't very much. I remember not long ago where people were sentenced, were, to, were taken to court for opening a studio. And today, Israel flourishing with freedom of speech, freedom of broadcast, and people all over the world, wherever I go, people always say, we want to know what's going on in Israel, Israel National News. Now, let's talk about, first of all, the, what is going on in Israel in terms of the politics. What's going to be? How do we get out of this uh, mess? First of all, Yoni, I want to tell you that's not what's going on in Israel. What's going on in Israel is so many great things, so many wonderful things, so many initiatives, so many a activities. I, I, I personally am involved in, in so many. I just, just spoke about, uh, about uh, the, the activity of Amitim for the orphan families, the activities of one-day uh, volunteers, that many things that are happening in this country are so many great things. Not all politics. Not everything is politics, okay. vice versa. Mm -hmm. You think that everything is doing is politics, it's, it's like looking at the, at the clock and you think the second... Uh, handle is the, is, is, is the whole clock. No, there are many things that are happening. In the political arena here in Israel, in the past few years, we're, there's the, we're, we've suffered from lack of stability. The situation is that, uh, unfortunately, people are not managing the different parties, they're not managing to work together. I think there is a need to strengthen the feeling of, of unity amongst us, of, of, of the understanding that the need for all of us to work together. And this is something that, that has to be taken care of. We in the past few years, we've seen that many of the parties are, are locked themselves up in a corner, put, up, put, put uh, weights on their feet, and decided, I can't do this, I can't do this. We have to humbly remove these, these uh, burdens and, and, and understand that the world needs the state of Israel to be strong and to work together. You're saying that that should happen. Do you think it could happen? It could happen, it's, there, but it's a need. It's a need for... Uh, the, 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 you know, it's, it's not always very simple to be modest, especially in politics when, when, you have, when a lot of ego is involved and, and if, you, if you give up your ego, you're considered that somebody who, who really, uh, somebody who is not worth it for politics. For politics, you have to stand on your, on your, on your, on your for yourself. But I think uh, we could, things could happen. Uh, I'm waiting for the surprises because I really think there's no real excuse to go for, again for another election. Enough is enough. We see that they're not taking us anywhere, and therefore the time is to put down our ego and work together, and work together, and that's the whole concept. You're the Glick, are you still running for president? I announced my candidacy, and now is the time where the, the next Israeli president should be elected sometime in the next two months. Uh, I'm full-time involved in it, and it's connected to this, to this topic we just spoke about, the ability to work together. The Israeli president has three major jobs. One is to strengthen the feeling of solidarity inside the people. Two is to strengthen the relationship between the Israeli, the, the Jews in the uh, diaspora, their feeling towards Israel, their identity with Israel, and, and, and feeling at home here in Israel. And the third thing is the face of the state of Israel. Who is, the, who is Israel facing the world? I think I have experience in all of these three things, and I think the balance between these things Israel needs a Yehuda Glick as a president. Israel needs today somebody who knows and understands and is, is able to, to, to work together with all the different parts of the Israeli society and feel part of them and give them all a feeling of trust. Israel needs somebody who can talk to all different parts of the uh, Jewish, the, the, the diaspora, the Jews in the, in the exile, the Jews in the diaspora, and to, t to have them feel that Israel is their home and the president of Israel is the president of the Jewish people. What are your chances? And look, anything I did in the world, all my life, whether it was Temple Mount or, or cigarettes, my I, I, I battle against cigarettes, always I began where people told me this is no chance. I don't begin with that question. The first question I start with, is there a need is it right for me to be do, do, do it, and can, I be, and can it happen? Once all those things are, are, are there, I'm on it, and the, the chances, if Hashem decides He wants me to be the President of Israel, I will be the President of Israel. If not, we have what, what to do, but I think right now, more than ever, Israel needs a President like Yehuda Glick. Okay, former Knesset member Yehuda Glick, thank you very much and good luck. Thank you, and Shalom from Jerusalem.